well good day everyone so today i got galaxy s20 plus and uh, this is the exynos chipset mobile phone and sorry for the lines that i am uh, getting on my mobile phone today i'm going to update the galaxy s20 plus uh, from to one ui 5.1 to one ui 7 and from android 13 to android 15 but this is not official this is an official procedure that i am going to do on this mobile phone although this mobile phone is old mobile phone i'm not pretty sure that the warranty will be still valid or not but my mobile phone warranty is not valid this mobile phone never have unlocked bootloader before so the knocks warranty status you can see that zero into zero and after unlocking the bootloader the knocks will get triggered and after unlocking the bootloader if you check nox warranty checker it will show zero into one which means that uh, maybe the samsung application will not work properly i just want to inform to those who unknown from the nox status they should know about this thing and those who don't care like me they can go ahead and flash the custom rom so i was getting a lot of messages that uh, they are trying to flash the one ui 7 getting flash like uh, very quickly but the rom is not booting what is the problem why we are facing this issue so today i'm going to show if the rom is not getting flash or if you try to flash the rom it is getting flash very quickly which is not supposed to be done so what other method we can follow do not forget to like the video and uh, keep watching my videos and if you are getting help from my videos if you haven't subscribed my channel yet do not forget to subscribe my channel also thank you so much all the links are provided in my video description this website you can read the things that are not working and uh, it will be fixed or not you can read all the things over here and the next one is to download the files we have to copy the password from here then uh, click any link like i will go to galaxy s20 plus this one the code name of s20 plus is y2s s20 x1 s s20 ultra is z3s right so i will click this link so i will highlight the password that i can already seen here and i will paste the password that i copied from there then i will click on unlock so here are the files which are categorized click on Odin pack first then click on s20 because i'm going for the s20 series and i will download the Odin pack uh, of the galaxy s20 plus the s20 plus model number is g985f and this file can be work also on g986b if you have g980f you can go for this file and other one is this one so check your model then download the files according to the model number my model number is g985 so i will go for this file and after downloading this file i will go back once again i will go back and then i will click the rom folder and then i will click s20 folder and i will download the rom file of the y2s the code name of the s20 plus is y2s right you can download the rom file according to the code name that you have so click this link and the rom will start downloading straight away this is my downloaded folder where i have downloaded the files that are required for flashing download the Odin also and if you are not having an samsung android usb driver uh, link provided download the file install it on your windows because if you are not having a samsung android usb driver so the mobile phone will not get detected by the Odin or by the windows so we have to extract the Odin first then open the extracted folder of the Odin then double click the Odin file click ok on this pop-up window and then on Odin, click any slot. I will go for the AP slot. Then I will go to my downloaded folder and I will select the Odin pack file by double clicking on it. Odin is ready, coming back towards the mobile phone. So we have to do few steps which are very important before flashing. First of all, you need to check the mobile phone battery. It must be charged and you need to save all the internal storage data because the data will get formatted like uh, your recent call list your messages etc etc right connect internet on your mobile phone must connect the internet then go to settings then tap software update download and install let the mobile phone check the updates 
because the phone is supposed to be updated to the latest stock firmware my mobile phone is already updated to the latest stock firmware the current firmware that i got is the last alphabet or digit is yb1 right and i will go back then i will uh, tap the about phone this is the galaxy s20 plus exynos chipset model the model number is g985f oblique ds my mobile phone is having a dual sim card so i have got both i mean numbers over here we'll tap the software information mobile phone is updated to the one ui 5.1 and white 13 the basement number is provided over here and this is the build number so tap the build number for seven times one two three four five six seven so the developer mode will be turned on now go back and uh, go to the developer options to the end of the settings screen then you need to turn on the oem unlocking we need to turn on the oem unlocking before unlocking the bootloader because the bootloader will never get unlocked if the oem unlocking is off so turn it on right then go back then tab accounts and backup in case if you are having samsung account must remove it and sync your google account must remove it to avoid issues later on go back then go to lock screen turn off the lock screen by selecting swipe well if you have done all these things simply power off the mobile phone data cable requires and use a good quality of data cable for flashing and for uh, charging the mobile phone the mobile phone is supposed to be power off and we have to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. You need to check the other side of this cable must be connected with computer. Now press and hold the volume up key, volume down key, then connect the cable with the mobile phone. In few seconds, you will see a warning screen release both keys. Now this is the screen from where we can go to the unlocking bootloader screen, right? Press the volume up key for little long. The other screen will get appears and release the volume up key here you can see volume up for yes and volume down for no i need to unlock the bootloader so i will press the volume up key but let me tell you that after pressing the volume up key the mobile phone will unlock the bootloader and then it will restart automatically so as soon the mobile phone restart i will press and hold the volume up key volume down key to let my mobile phone boot into warning screen once again right so pressing the volume up key and i will press both keys once again the warning screen appears once again press the volume up key once through to boot the phone into audio mode so this is my audio mode screen now let me tell you that the kg state must show checking the frp lock must show off oem lock must show off in a brackets you will see u which means that the bootloader is unlocked so the phone is booted into audio mode and connected already with the computer on the computer screen or in mode already detected my mobile phone this is the sign right so go to the options on the audio then untick auto reboot go back to log then click start to start flashing the Odin pack file on the Galaxy S20 Plus. When done, definitely you will see pass message over here. Click reset and click exit and go back to downloaded folder. The mobile phone still booted into Odin mode. Now we have to boot the phone into TWRP. Just make sure that the cable must be connected with the mobile phone. So I will press and hold the volume up key, volume down key and power key. When mobile phone restart, I will release the volume down key first and then I will show what I have to do. So first press and hold the volume up key, volume down key, power key. Just hold it, press, wait. Mobile phone will restart. Then release the volume down key first. And when Samsung logo appears, release the power key. Just wait. Yes, I can really I can see I release the power key. Just wait. And now I can release the volume up key. The phone will boot into TWRP. Maybe the recovery will appear and it will start doing something. Then it will restart automatically. And uh, you will see that and you will think that the TWRP did not flash uh, perfectly. No it got flash 
because the mobile phone was on the stock firmware that is why the first TWRP will do this thing just wait the mobile phone will reboot automatically to TWRP it will reboot for once or twice but it will boot finally to the TWRP just hold on and check the mobile phone those who are not having a stock firmware it your mobile phone was having a uh, custom firmware or custom rom this thing will not happens with your mobile phone but those who was having a stock firmware just like mine so this thing will happen so twrp finally got back now tap wipe then tap format data then type y e s and tap here when done go back go back swipe to factory reset when done go back go back to main screen tap reboot and tap recovery recovery screen got back the internal storage also got appears on my computer screen why i will go to my downloaded folder and i will copy the rom file that is extreme rom nexus 1.0 one ui 7 for the s20 plus from the downloaded folder and then i will go to my internal storage of my mobile phone and i will paste the file on the internal storage of the mobile phone so i got the rom file on the internal storage of my mobile phone right now i am done from the computer and i will disconnect the cable first from the mobile phone then tap the install on the recovery screen then you will see the rom file over here tap to select the file and swipe to start flashing it this is the reason that uh, i am getting messages that rom is not getting flash or the mobile is going on boot loop well you saw that when i start flashing the rom just took four to five seconds and it shows that flashing got completed if i tap reboot system the mobile will go into boot loop the mobile will not ever start booting to the uh, extreme rom the flashing of rom will take long time yes i have flashed this rom on note 20 ultra s10 plus i know that the rom will take a long time it will never complete it in just taking four to five seconds now if i tap reboot like reboot to recovery and if i do the flashing procedure again same thing is happening so i have to flash this rom with other method like using the side load method to flash the rom because i know if i keep doing like flashing the rom from the internal storage i will keep facing this situation flashing will be completed in just taking four to five seconds now let me show what exactly we have to do so at first I will copy the platform tools to my folder where I have downloaded all the files. Then I will extract the platform tools. And then I will copy the ROM file. Yes, this one. And open the extracting folder of the platform tools. I will paste the file here. Done. then i will rename the rom file selecting the file pressing f2 erasing it then giving the name rom the file name is supposed to be rom.zip press enter key done now right click on cmd then left click on run as administrator click yes on next pop-up window command window will open now connect the cable again with the mobile phone then unlock the recovery screen go back to main screen tap wipe tap format data type y e s then tap here when done then go back to main screen and tap advanced tap adb side load swipe to start side load mode the phone is put it into side load mode on the computer screen first type the command adb space devices press enter key to check the device is properly connected yes the serial number of my mobile phone is on the command window and the side load mode is already booted now flash the uh, rom file by giving the command adb space side load space rom.zib press enter key so things look like uh, 
good and the rom file is getting transferring to the mobile phone and it will get flash at the same time now it will take a little long time we have to wait here so you can see that uh, the script succeeded the rom caught flash finally so right now i am done again from the computer and i will disconnect the cable first from the mobile phone once again then i will go back to the main screen of the recovery and i will do the format data by type tapping y tap format data type y e s tap here when done tap reboot system mobile phone started booting but the brightness is very low and suddenly the screen got light up and first boot finally completed well i was thinking that i will face brightness issues but no now you can see that the brightness is high and it is normal so i will complete my setup screen s25 ultra wallpaper yes it will come on the screen after completing the setup screen well this is a sign that uh, i got the one ui 7 on my s20 plus so these are the default applications coming with the rom i will tap the settings and i can see galaxy ai is already here then i will go to the about phone so the mobile phone software has got changed now from s20 plus to s25 ultra because this rom ported from the s25 ultra the product name also galaxy s25 ultra the model name got changed also but this is not actually s25 ultra this is s20 plus we'll tap the software information now the phone got updated one ui 7.0 android 15 base band is already here build number you can see extreme rom nexus 1.0.0 code name y2s and etc etc rom got flash perfectly what are the things working with the s20 plus with the one ui 7 rom i will bring another video about it thank you so much for watching the video take a good care i will see you in my next video until then goodbye